Now, if you wanted to add more streamlined, formatted HTML type text and for an HTML output only, what you're able to do, for example, is go to any of the elements and then there is a append to body section. I'm going to go to the master report and I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see append header, append body. What I'm able to do for append body, I actually have some text here. I'm just going to copy and paste. And in the append body section, I'm going to paste that HTML text. And now this text will also respect browser line breaks and so forth. I even got image tags in here. So it's not going to be represented in the view, but when you put it into an HTML view, it will be. So here, this is a bold title, and here is the logo. So there's obviously some tweaking that you're going to want to do for positioning, but this is to show you how you could either put some inline HTML into an HTML report or HTML formatted items into an HTML or PDF report. The next example is I want to show you adding some inline HTML or actions to a particular field. So we'll go into our report wizard quickly create a report from the sales data query and we'll just do plant and sales finish preview okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create an action on one of these field names so I'm going to select plant and under attributes you're going to see there's an on click on double click on mouse down this is basically how to add some interactive capability to an HTML report so for here I can type in a particular value that I want to occur, such as an on-click event. So on-click, I want it to just display that particular field name. So what I can do here is put in a JavaScript function. Alert. This is a click. And we close that. So now when we run this in HTML, when I click on that, you see this is a click. And that happens on any of the field names. But maybe we want to represent the field name when we click it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is we're going to remove this, click OK, and we're going to add a formula. And with the formula expression, this is where you're able to resolve the bracket region names and apply that into the alert. So what you do is, is you represent it as a string. So you put in a double quote put in the function and alert is for those who don't know alert is a JavaScript function it's a default JavaScript function that just displays a little message window and I'm going to want to put the actual field name as a string in between this alert so what we have to do is put in a single tick to begin the string that's going to be displayed and then we use double quote to close the string of the expression we use an ampersand symbol and then you type in the particular field name in this case it was plant okay so you're concatenating the field value into the string so we use another ampersand to concatenate and a double quote to open the string now we want the single quote for the string of the alert function and we use the parentheses to close the alert function and then a double quote to close the string of the formula Okay, you'll notice the formula changes to a pencil. When we preview this as HTML, when I click on that, now we have Boston, Orlando, Dallas, and Los Angeles. Okay, so you can imagine what you can do with that type of capability in a report. So any HTML JavaScript actions that you want to put into an HTML-based report can now be enhanced. And to give you an example of how we did that, there is a sample in the welcome under advanced HTML actions. So if we run this as a regular preview, you're not going to really see any interaction in here. Or if we run it as a PDF document, we're not going to see any interaction because this is has HTML actions in it which are interpreted by the browser. But if we put it into an HTML view, You'll notice that we have a widget, we have tickers that are running, we have checkboxes in the column name. So if I check these checkboxes, I'm actually selecting 
these particular product names. If I click the Get Values button, it actually displays these value names in this text box. And if I click Call Web Service, it actually passes that information over to some application. In this case, it's just a Google Images search. So imagine now having your own application in-house with a report that people can select items, click a button, and pass that to some other application or another report, let's say. Um, these are just some of the advanced features of the Pentaho Report Designer and the capability of the report. And how that's done is in the master report, as I mentioned, that we had those append header and append body. If I look at the append header, you can see there's actually a JavaScript function. And how those dynamic checkboxes are developed is there is a label element right in front of the product. And then if you scroll down in the attribute section, you will see an append body. And that is a expression. And you can see it's actually an input type checkbox. You're basically building a string and then concatenating field values in the string. So this is what gives you the dynamic checkbox ID for each product name and then the value of the product name. And then the JavaScript interprets this check ID if we go to the master report and we go to the append header you can see that we have the JavaScript in here and we have a function called calculate and what this really does is it just creates a loop and you can see is checked document form two dot product name dot checked okay i'm not going to go through the whole understanding of javascript calculations and, and formulas within html uh, but basically if you have an understanding of javascript and html um, this should seem very familiar to you